What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be installing my Momo shift knob and my bride shift boot cover. Now, first thing I want to point out, I do have an automatic, but we are going to make this work. If you, most of you don't know, um, automatic knobs are usually just unscrewable. They just have like a threaded rod and the, the shift knob just kind of screws on there. But with um, the Subaru manual transmissions, the thread pitch is different. I believe it's one. It's M. It's M12 by 1.25. The automatics are M10. So this shift knob, I'm pretty sure, was made for a five-speed. We're going to make it fit. I'm just. I painted all my interior black. I'm kind of deleting all the silver inside or whatever you want to call it. And the PRNDL is just plain ugly in my opinion. I'll give you guys a look at what the stock knob on my automatic WRX looks like, plain. Um, yeah, so we're going to cover this with the boot. Shout out to Stitch Boots and Billet Works. That's where I got this. I will link both of these in the description below. Um, I got the, the knob off eBay. It's authentic. I paid a pretty hefty price for it, more than I wanted to, um, but it's okay, it was worth it, it was kind of like a little celebration for getting my downpipe situation all figured out, which I still have an exhaust leak, but hey, whatever, what are you going to do, it's a Subaru, so I went ahead and I was looking up Momo shift knobs because the O2 through O4 WRXs came with Momo steering wheels. Mine has the red centerpiece. And this, um, the material, the black material on the edge of the knob is actually material, um, looks like the same material as the steering wheel. And the material from the shift boot actually looks a lot like the netted mesh black seats in here. So I'm trying to keep it all black interior. Um, with just a little pop of color for the red and the green, obviously, Momo is out of Italy. It says, Momo Racing Team with a Momo Italy in the, in the middle, race shift since 1964. Green, white, red, obviously, Italian colors. Um, so, when you buy this knob, it's going to come with five pieces. It's going to come with the knob itself. It's going to come with these a different adapters for size depending on what size your um, rod is it's gonna come with the base it says I don't know if you can see it but it says Momo right there on the base of it these little I don't even know what you call these guys but they're like little um, I don't know it, it comes with a small Allen wrench and what you do is the Allen wrench sits on the other side of the screw and it's kind of like a little divot anyways I'll show you guys it goes into the side of the shift knob there's three of them in order to hold the adapter inside the shift knob as it goes on your shifter and shift boot just comes by itself the only thing you're really gonna need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver there's the easiest way to get to the shifter trim piece. One here, one here, and then after that. After that, the back here should just lift up. And then you can remove the cup holder piece. There's two clips holding it right here, but if you take this off, make sure to, you need to have your e-brake up for this. Make sure you slide it off. You don't want to damage any of the wires because these all, these are for your mirrors and stuff. So you want to set that aside. And then basically what you're going to do, 
So yeah, we got that. And then this piece, just lift it, pops right out. All right. That piece down there, fuck that, okay. So like I said, with the automatics, just simply give it a good twist. Spin that. And this, this knob is, it's nice, it's got the nice leather stitching, but I mean, it's big, it's bulky, it's it's awkward to grab, so I don't, it's not like I use the shifter a lot, obviously. So a gauge up here to tell me what gear I'm in, so I really don't need this. Um, anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and switch it out, cover it up. As you can see, they put an adapter already in there. It's, you can't get it out, it's just basically for this threaded rod right here Now most of the manual transmissions they just have a rod there's no thread on them so that's why they have they give you these adapters depending on um, what size you have we're gonna go with the, the smallest one as you can see I already have it in the knob if you get a good view of it But anyways, all you do is you stick the adapter, you stick the adapter in here, push it all the way down. It's just a rubber piece. They give you a bunch of different options. Um, and then you're going to take your little Allen wrench screws here and screw them. Not all the way, just enough. Um, you get that ready and then make sure you put on the base first this is going to hide the screws it's going to go down on the bottom and then you're going to put your your thing on and then you're going to screw it up it's going to hide you know these little pieces right here but well first we'll go ahead and put the shift boot on you want i'm kind of just hoping i can tuck this around the trim and then just throw the the piece back on there. Obviously we want the bride facing us. So go all four corners. The good thing about the shift boot covers and not the actual shift boot is it has this elastic kind of like elastic waistband idea so I just kind of stretched it out over the trim here and got the so first thing we're gonna do is our base needs to go on And this automatically wants to go up, so there won't be too much of a, a seam, like a gap between the two of these after this is all done. <clears throat> and with the threaded rod, with this, what we're going to do is we're going to stick it on there. We got our, with the, we got our knob ready with the holders in place there, so we're going to push straight down and twist until we get a pretty good mold. I want to make sure it's all the way. And then, once we get it about a good, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these with our mini Allen wrench. This is gonna keep the um, it's gonna keep the adapter in there. See, it already looks better. See how there's there's not really any play. <clears throat> so after you get all your stuff straightened up, you just take the base, bring it up. Twist it on. There, that way it's facing like that. Momo, momo. Bring the boot all the way up, all the way around. Yeah. Doesn't look bad. So now we're just going to install the trim piece back on. God damn, thing's a bitch. Alright, so you just push it 
back in. Make sure you got. Yeah, see, that looks sleek. See, we got the red Momo with the knob. The knob looks good. It's firm. Like I said, I'm not going to be shifting a lot, but it just cleans up the whole interior of the car. Like I said, I painted these black and I got kind of like a black theme going. So, just figured it would make it. Momo shift knob, bride shift boot cover install. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks guys.